Hi there, it is the 4th of October 2011 and out here in the Western Pacific today we continue to watch our Tropical Storm, Tropical Storm Nalge here moving across of Hanai and currently you do see it on the convection just on the western side of the satellite loop here but also two other areas to keep an eye on today, a trough of low pressure south of Japan here developing up, look like it's going to bring some heavy precipitation out across Kyushu to Shikoku as well as Honshu by later on tonight and into tomorrow while we also have Invest 90 Whiskey still watching that down here just north of Palau have seen a flare up of convection here in the past 24 hours but slowly seeing development with this system and not expecting it to get too strong but first let's jump into tropical storm Nalgate, which is currently packing winds of about 40 gusting up to 50 knots a central pressure of 994 HPA uh, measured on a Dvorak system that's also compared up with some observation over Hanain here but as noted over the past several days those winds are not the main issue it is the water vapor out here and that precipitation coming out of it just showing the water vapor imagery here showing on the western side of Hanain that's where you're seeing that heaviest amount of precipitation right now and that extends out here towards the west that uh, movement off towards the west here as the center of circulation is just on the eastern portion of this convection is due to a high amount of wind shear over the system right now that's also causing it to decrease in intensity that's why after it came off the Philippines you didn't see the storm re-emerge and turn back into a typhoon and actually gradually decrease in intensity continuously as it moved off towards the west so much of that precipitation is off towards the western periphery of the system this is the six hour forecast from about zero Zulu from NOAA out here just showing those heavier rain mounts here located over the South China Sea but expecting those to move just north of Hugh Vietnam here coming on shore by tomorrow morning into evening on the 5th so that's going to be seeing some heavy precipitation out here across Vietnam as you have seen heavy precipitation recently in the last several weeks just because of Typhoon Haitong that made landfall over two weeks ago or actually about two weeks ago and then it had an set shortly after so a really active uh, tropical season across this country right now and it looks like you're gonna see some more rainfall come on shore but looking at the accumulated precipitation from Nalge here just noting as it moved across the Philippines dropped dropped over about 300 millimeters in certain locations those highest low areas here located in red as it moved offshore though that rainfall started to decrease and as it moved away from shore that's when you started to see that decrease in intensity and overall just started to see the rain fall amounts back off but I wouldn't be surprised we see this area here in blue and green extend out over towards Vietnam over the next 48 hours so we'll check back in on this accumulation precip in the uh, next several days but I do want to note that Nalgay is extending off towards the northern periphery attached to this trough of low pressure up here and that gradient induced winds caused by this trough of low pressure interacting with a high down here towards the south is creating some pretty gusty winds out as shown on these ship observations and actually some observations coming around from Hong Kong shown of upwards of 37 knots and even 50 knots here south of uh, southeastern China so some pretty gusty winds out there extending around southeastern China so if the storm is off to your southwest right now and you're seeing those near gale force winds well it is because of this high ridging in from the north causing that cool down as we've already been noting in the last several days but also this tightly packed gradient located right in here you see by these lines kind of pushing against each other well that's indicating those higher winds out there so you're still going to be seeing those winds come out of the east and run out here towards the west but I also also do want to mention this monsoonal trough that continues to linger down here across Indochina and actually here are some numbers for you out here across Indochina including Cambodia and Thailand 150 people since August 5th have died in Cambodia with 82 people dying in Thailand due to flash flooding out here associated with this monsoonal trough so it's a really a dangerous situation out in this region right now and we're continuing to see this monsoon uh, keep up with intensity over the next several weeks it doesn't look like it's gonna back off into the latter part of October so you have to keep a continuous eye out here and hopefully no tropical systems dip down here towards the southwest but good news with this system running off here towards Vietnam and then Laos it should recurve and move off towards the north where you're actually still seeing flooding across China actually 7.3 million people there in China are going to be seeing some tropical storm force winds with the system as it moves across and upwards of 130,000 people have been displaced due to the flooding out there.
So this active tropical season in the last several weeks is really affecting a lot of people, not to mention upwards of 60 people that have died across Luzon due to the last several storms. So that uh, actually bad number out there coming across Luzon is why a lot of people are fearful of this next little invest down here, Invest 90 Whiskey. Now this thing does not look like it's going to develop up here, actually getting pummeled by some wind shear right now. As shown here on the wind shear analysis, showing about 30 to 20 knots out ahead of it. So anything above 15 knots is really not conducive for that warm core low development the exhaust kind of gets knocked off it's kind of like putting a plug on the chimney so really don't think this is going to develop right now yet some of the models still do look at it and look at possible weak development out of it so it could bring some precipitation to Visayas and southern Luzon if it does develop up and w walks off here towards the west but as already noted I don't think it's going to develop into anything too strong if at the very most maybe a tropical depression and it's definitely not going to have the rainfall amounts that was uh, the last several storms including Nessa at Nage as they moved across the country. Not going to be seeing those rainfall totals that high, but this could bring some more precipitation, which as we all know will not be uh, very welcomed out there. But also I do want to note some of these lines up here south of Honshu. You see these models picking up on an area of low pressure up there? Well, that's actually associated with that trough of low pressure I was talking about just a second. And this is actually caused due to the interaction of the Westpac High down here towards the south and the Asiatic High ridging in from the north. And see this nice little fine line right in here? Well, north of this line rate up here in green is about 50 degree temperatures or lower and also south of it temperatures are upwards of the 70s and 80s that's on the Fahrenheit scale so that trough of low pressure is basically a cold front separating these two air masses and that's what's causing that interaction and that precipitation that's going to be developing here and moving across Honshu in the next several days. And definitely by Chamar, you're actually going to see this whole leaf here that we call a baroclinic leaf in meteorological terms develop up into a low and move off here, bringing some precipitation to eastern Honshu. And actually on radar imagery here from JMA, you're seeing some uh, rainfall actually pr producing already here across the Ryukyu Islands. In some areas here indicated in red, you're seeing the chance of thunderstorm development out there. So Okinawa today actually could see some thunderstorms associated with this developing low. And now it is a westerly low, not tropical and related in nature but still could bring some severe weather out there and we're going to see this precipitation build in across Honshu here across the day on the 5th in the morning of the 6th before it starts to clear out and you see that high pressure come in from the north part of that Asiatic high and also associated with that is going to be the cool down of those temperatures I was talking about a minute ago but that is all for right now everybody thanks again for watching the update here if you have any questions comments or suggestions as always please post them in the comment box below and also if you want you can click down here in the bottom right and you can subscribe here at YouTube and get these updates continuously every day. But also at westernpacificweather.com, myself and uh, several other weathercasters putting together these updates as well. So please uh, continue to check back in and stay safe out there, everyone. Have a great day.